Hey guys, in this video we will show you how to create a dosing schedule using GHL Control Center. The dosing schedule feature you'll find in GCC and MyGHL gives you full control over the behavior of your dosing pump. With this feature you have the option to monitor dosing container fluid levels, set warning and alarm thresholds, customize dosing schedules, and calibrate your dosing pump when needed. To get started we must first select the dosing pump channel we wish to program. The window that pops up is where we will be entering all the information pertaining to this specific dosing pump channel. Starting from the top, set the capacity of the dosing container that is connected to this specific dosing pump. For example, if you are dosing out of a 500 milliliter bottle, type in 500. Next, type in a minimum threshold. The number you enter here is the threshold for when an alarm should be triggered. If you'd like to trigger an alarm when the fluid level drops below this amount, check this box. Otherwise, leave it unchecked and no alarm will be triggered when the fluid level drops below the minimum amount. Next, click on Refill Container and enter the approximate amount of fluid that is currently in your dosing container. Once you've done that, click OK. If you're creating a dosing schedule for a doser 2 or 2.1, you have the option to adjust the speed of the motor here. This feature comes in handy if the product you are dosing requires you to dose to the 0.1 milliliter accuracy. Running the pump at a slower speed increases the doser's accuracy and therefore allows you to dose in 0.1 milliliter increments. For these purposes, the pump speed can be set to 0 or 1. Keep in mind that anytime the pump's motor speed is changed, the pump must be calibrated at the new set speed. To do that, select the pump speed, read the text that pops up, Click OK, then Save Changes. Once you've done that, you can begin the calibration process by clicking on Calibrate the Pump Now. The next step is to give this dosing channel a name in both description boxes here. Once all of the above is completed, you can begin creating a dosing pump schedule. Start by selecting Dosing Schedule below. Under Dosing Times, select Automatically if you want the dosage times to be automatically calculated and evenly spread throughout the day. Select individually if you want to specify the amount of fluid to dose at a specific time. In the steps that follow, we will first show you how to create a dosing schedule using the individual dosing times option. Later we will show you how to create a dosing schedule with the automatic dosing times option. If you select individually, you must click New and specify the exact time you want the dose to occur. Also specify how many milliliters you want the doser to dispense at that specific time. For example, let's say we want to dose 10 milliliters at noon. To do this, we would set the time to noon, type in 10, and click OK. Additional dosage times can then be added by simply clicking on New, and repeating those exact steps. If you need to delete a dosing time, simply select it and click delete. If you need to edit an existing dose time, simply double click on that time or click edit. As you build your dosing schedule, you will see the dose times appear in the chart below. The other option you have at your disposal is the automatic dosing times option. If you would prefer to have your dose times automatically calculated, select Automatically. Once you've done that, scroll down and select how many times per day you want to dose and how many milliliters each dose will consist of. For example, if we wanted to dose 100 milliliters of calcium in a single day, we can enter 10 dosings per day and 10 milliliters in the rate per dosing box. If we wanted to dose 50 milliliters in a day, we can enter 5 dosings per day and 10 milliliters in the rate per dosing box. Once you've done that, you can set the time of day when you would like this schedule to begin. The next steps that follow will apply to both automatic and individual dosing times options. Here you can select whether you would like to run the dosing schedule during specific days of the week or in day intervals. If you wish to run this schedule during specific days of the week, simply select at special weekdays and select the days you want this schedule to run. If you wish to run this program in intervals, select the option In Day Intervals. 
In the box that says repeat all, enter how often you want this program to run. For example, typing in the number 2 will set this dosing pump schedule to run every 2 days. Selecting 3 will run the schedule every 3 days. If you want to create a dosing schedule delay, you can enter a number greater than 0 in the box that says starting in. If you set this to 1, the program will begin in 1 day. If you enter 2, it will begin in 2 days. Once all the information has been entered, go ahead and click Save Changes. If you use the Automatic Dosing Times option, you will see a list of the exact dosing times listed here. Be sure to repeat these steps with each dosing channel and save your settings after you make adjustments to each channel. Thanks guys for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get updates on new tutorial videos. If you'd like to see certain how-to videos, let us know in the comments section below. If you have any questions for us and need further support, you can always reach out to us on our GHL support forum or by email at info at